Spark Neo is a powerful combination of wireless guitar amp technology and headphones in one. Today, we'll go over all the features you need to know to get the most out of your Spark Neo experience. First, let's unbox this thing and go over what you get. First up, we get this little packet, and in here, you'll find this helpful card that has a QR code showing you how to quickly get the Spark app and how to connect up your Neo. Next, and most importantly, the headphone unit. A transmitter, which connects to your instrument, and lastly, a braided USB-C cable for charging and upgrading your hardware. Next, let's connect Neo to your instrument, and then we'll look over the controls. Before extensively using your Neo, we recommend charging both units to full capacity. It generally takes just three and a half hours to fully charge the headphones, and roughly two hours for the transmitter. Inside the hinges of the headset, you can find clear markings indicating left from right. The power button is on the back of the right ear cup. Press and hold to power on. Press and hold the button on the transmitter to power it on and pair to the headset. Plug the transmitter into the output jack of your guitar or bass. Note that you can fold the transmitter to position it to your liking. Your guitar and your Neo are now connected. Here's a tip, if your transmitter is in need of charging, you can still practice with your headphones. Just connect an instrument cable from your guitar's output to the quarter inch input on the right ear cup, and you can continue practicing. To cycle through Neo's four onboard preset tones, click the large round setter button on the side of the right ear cup. To the sides of the preset button, are the volume controls. Press the forward raised button to increase the volume and press the backmost indented button to lower it. Note that these volume buttons are specifically for controlling guitar volume. When streaming media to the headset over Bluetooth, you should adjust the volume on the device you're streaming from. There are two LED indicators on the back of the right ear cup. When the unit is powered on and has a full charge, the main LED will be lit green. As the charge diminishes, the indicator will change to yellow, and eventually red when the charge is nearly used up. When the indicator blinks red, it's time to charge up the headset via the USB-C connector on the bottom of the unit. Above the main LED is a smaller blue LED that indicates Bluetooth connectivity status. When the unit is in Bluetooth pairing mode, this LED will pulse repeatedly. On the left ear cup, you'll notice another button with an LED indicator. Long pressing the button for two seconds turns the wireless receiver on and off. Single tapping the button mutes and unmutes the receiver. When the receiver is active, this LED will be solid blue. Last of the physical controls is the transmitter button. Long pressing powers the transmitter on or off. Short pressing mutes the transmitter. When muted, the transmitter LED will alternate between green and yellow. Double-clicking the button puts the transmitter into pairing mode should you need to repair it to your headset. Now that we've gone over the basic functions of setting up your Neo with your instrument and covered the controls, let's get to the really fun stuff by connecting to the Spark app and your device. Download and install the Spark app from the App Store or Google Play and open it. Make sure your Neo is powered on and connected to the transmitter. Once the app is installed and open, click the connect button to connect the app to your Neo. Be sure to follow the prompts to register your Neo with Positive Grid. One of the coolest new features in the Spark app is Spark AI. To start using Spark AI, click on the center icon in the menu at the bottom of the interface. Type in a description of the tone you want, and Spark AI will generate four presets for you to try out. To find out all of the things that you can do with the Spark app, check out our Everything You Can Do With The Spark App video linked in the description below. Next, we'll connect your Neo via Bluetooth to your device for streaming media. This enables you to play along to backing tracks from music streaming services, YouTube, or to use your headset for listening to music. Go into your device settings and click through to the Bluetooth section. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled. Tap the power button on the right ear cup. 
the headset should go into pairing mode, indicated by a pulsing blue LED. Find the Spark Neo audio option in the Found Devices list, and click it to pair. You should now see Spark Neo audio in the list of Bluetooth devices with Connected next to it. If for any reason you're having problems with your Spark Neo, it might be worth doing a factory reset. First, turn off your Spark Neo. Next, hold the power and preset button at the same time, and then release the buttons when the power indicator turns white. Next, hold the preset button until the power indicator turns white and flashes slowly, and then release. Spark Neo will turn off automatically when the factory reset is complete. You can now turn it back on and start playing. Keeping the firmware on your Spark Neo up to date ensures the greatest functionality and the latest features. Start by going to help.positivegrid.com and then scroll down until you see the section for Spark Neo. Click through and if there's a firmware updater available, you can download it here. Once downloaded, unzip and install the updater. If you're on a Windows PC, be sure to right-click and run as administrator. Follow the on-screen prompts to update your firmware. Connect your Spark Neo with the provided USB-C cable. Spark Neo will turn off automatically once connected. Following the on-screen directions, press and hold the power button and the volume up button until you see the power LED turn white. On the next screen, click the Update button. When the updater is finished, click the Done button and disconnect your Neo. And that's it. Now you're all set to practice with awesome modeled amp tones, play along to streamed music, create, save, and share your own tones with the help of Spark AI, and stream audio from your Bluetooth-enabled devices.